Hey there, Robloxians, Patchable here. So today I'm going to teach you how to retexture on Roblox. So what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a browser, you're gonna need Roblox Studio, and you're gonna need an editing software for images. I use paint.net because it's easy for me and it's been, it's been really convenient for me. But you can use just about anything that edits images. So now, the first step is going to the catalog and finding a hat. I am going to retexture the Roblox visor because it's the easiest. Now the next step is copying the ID right there. Then you're going to want to open up Roblox Studio and now you'll have a command prompt down here and you won't have these exact words but I'll put the words in the description. Just paste that in there. Then in between the the equals and the quotation mark you're going to want to put in the ID of the hat you're retexturing. Then once you have that, you're going to want to press enter. Now you'll notice that a hat pops up anywhere, somewhere on this base plate or whatever you have. And then once that comes up here, you're going to want to go into your workspace. Then you're going to want to open up the visor or the hat that you're retexting. Go into the mesh and then go down to the texture ID. Then you're going to want to copy that ID right there. Then once you have that, you're going to want to replace that ID with this ID. Then you want to copy the image. This is the texture of the hat, copy the image, open it up in a um, editing software like this. Then, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to do a really detailed um, retexture. I'm just going to do something really simple that shouldn't be any problems. Most retextures are actually going to be a lot harder than this, so it's going to look pretty easy, yet pretty amateur, really. But once you have it done, you're going to want to save it to wherever. And then you're going to want to go to your inventory. You want to go into your decals, create a new one, choose a file. You're going to want to go into that, and you're going to want to open it up. Now, you want to upload it. You don't have to make it free or anything. You just want to do that. You want to go into your decals right here put it down on the base plate or whatever and copy, copy this texture right here then you're going to want to go back into the mesh and paste that into the texture ID and then that's pretty much it see now as you can see that what I made is on poorly pretty poorly onto the hat itself and then to upload that you're going to want to click this you might want to rename it just rename it anything I'm going to name it patchable then you're going to want to go up to file and you're going to want to publish selection to roblox once you get to this you're going to want to create a new it will take a little bit and you're going to want to just pick a random name random description and then you're going to want to click finish then it will upload then you press ok then it will be in your models and then as soon as the decal uploads it will upload itself. Now, before we go, as you notice, it, it's the head itself is not here. It's blank. Now, how to fix this? Most people just think that you can't fix it, but you can. You're going to want to pick a camera angle that you want the head to be. Then you're going to want to copy this right here. Camera, press copy, then go in here, then you see this thumbnail camera. You're going to want to delete that, and then repaste going to want to copy it again and you're going to want to paste it right in there and you're going to want to rename it to thumbnail camera then you're going to want to upload it or update it then you just click it to update it and then boom then once you refresh it it's fixed so that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll have more tutorials and more stuff about Roblox soon on this channel. So be sure to subscribe, like the video if it helps you, and that's about it.